Hello boys and girls, I am back and look at this, look at this, isn't it beautiful? It's from that uh, airfield, that old army airfield around here and there was this, this transporter coming. I don't, I don't know if it's prohibited to go in here. But there were signs that you could walk and there were walking paths and everything, so uh, I gave it a go. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop and gear and somebody coming. No. Very nice. Ah. You know, I'm right now doing something that I've uh, almost, well, never really done before. Once with a buddy of mine, but he, we had a. Uh, we had a destination. I have never, at least I can't remember it, I've never gone somewhere that I don't know where it was. You know, I never really got on the bike and just rode for a bit and then see where, where the road takes me. But I thought this weather, you know, I can actually wear my summer gloves here. So that's cool. <laughs> so much better than those huge bulky winter ones. They are two sizes too large. Well, one and a half, technically. <laughs> ah, it's absolutely ridiculous. But those ones, you know, are nice. We've got like 12, 13 degrees Celsius right now. So it's, it's, it's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. And I hope that I haven't, you know, collected a speeding ticket about 10 minutes ago there was a uh, one of those uh, solid un you know those 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 uh, <laughs> those yeah uh, ticket stations <laughs> and I went past it and I've, I've noted it I've, I've noticed it too late let's say all that I was doing 97 and there's no 79 and there's 70 in that zone so I hope that I don't get any ticket from that but then again it's like five tolerance and you know like five percent tolerance and all that so it shouldn't be too much even if I collected one right there uh, 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 yeah, that's where we have to go to okay yeah, well, we're going to stay behind it for quite some time. Pouring the foundation, that is what this video is going to be called. And what I mean with that is that uh, I will let you know why I do things like I do them. When I started making YouTube videos, like it was even before that Sony CD player video. I've, I've uploaded quite some videos beforehand and uh, they have got deleted. They have gotten deleted, yeah. That's it. I never really knew what I was, you know, what I was going to do on YouTube, to be honest. I uh, thought, well, reviews are kind of good, you know. Everybody watches some kind of review at some point in their life on YouTube. So, uh, why not make those? And I kind of did for a while. But uh, I've, gotten, I've, I've grown tired of it. And uh, actually, I wanted to do... I, I, I said to myself, well, if one day you will get yourself your motorcycle then uh, you're gonna do motor vlogs like everybody else does that you watch because everything I was watching back then was basically motor vlogging and motor vlogging and motor vlogging and motor vlogging have I mentioned that I was watching motor vlogs yeah I've been watching them since I was a kid you know uh, like 13 14 and I started uh, watching them quite intensively actually you know I, uh, didn't watch much else didn't watch PewDiePie back then either I thought his videos were sh were shoot uh, yeah so uh, I was watching only motor vlogs and I was I didn't know what to do with my channel so I uploaded some videos and then I actually uh, reviewed my van shoes back then too I actually reviewed those too <laughs> absolutely ridiculous uh, and deleted that one like two weeks after I uploaded it. But the Sony CD player video is stuck. And uh, now it's like 56,000 views. It's 
quite nice. It's nothing compared to like real channels, but uh, it's nice. You know, just 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 noticing that so many people around the world watch your videos. How how many hours and days your videos are being watched? It, I just enjoy that the most of YouTube, like the analytics. Actually, I try to keep myself from checking them too often, but um, you know, it's inevitable really and I love to see where all those people come from and uh, what I've noticed with myself in changing uh, when I started really making motor vlogs and stuff like that motorcycle videos was that I was doing it for the wrong reason I thought to myself well there are so many people making money with this and making good money with this so uh, you're gonna do what you always wanted to do but you are uh, Let's try try to make it big, you know. Try to make it big, and I started um, customizing my thumbnails back then too. Like right when I started doing these motor vlogs and those pre motor vlog playlist videos. But I quickly noticed that uh, it, it just looks like shoot. <laughs> Didn't like the looks of it. I, in the end, I it always comes down to the simple thing that I like to see in the thumbnail. In the thumbnail, what it's you know what I'm going to see in the video as well like that's what I want my thumbnails to be and that's why I only take either the chosen ones those three pre-chosen ones from YouTube or I just uh, I just take a screenshot of the video and <laughs> upload that as a quote-unquote custom thumbnail yeah that's how that's how uh, business-minded I am <laughs> Uh, you know, I want my channel to be that amateur YouTube channel that would have existed 10 years ago. And this is kind of a culture shock too, because the people back then, like, they didn't do it. Like, most of them that got big or, you know, got successful quite quickly, they weren't doing it because, you know, all, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do my live vlog and such. No, they usually, especially motor vloggers, they usually saw people getting big with that YouTube stuff and thought to themselves, well, I'm going to upload some cool videos and, uh, yeah, I'm going to edit my thumbnails and uh, take some from Google Images and, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, views kept pouring in because basically no one was doing motor vlogs back then and you could upload everything you wanted. It doesn't, it didn't matter, but y you were getting the views. And today that's not like this anymore. It's still to a degree, but not like it was back then. So uh, yeah, I want my, my channel to be a, uh, well not lifeless, that's definitely wrong, uh, but I want my channel to be a uh, non, well not non-exclamating channel, I just want to do my motor vlogs, I want to do my ice cream reviews, and whoever wants to watch them can watch them without, you know, bombarding people, oh shit, wrong exit, missed it. Shit. Doing a full circle, man. Yeah, I'm doing a full circle. Yeah. That one. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, yes. That is it. <sighs> it feels good to ride in the summer. It feels so good. Quite a few people telegate to me today quite odd. Such a beautiful summer day and people are on my bottom. <laughs> Pouring the foundation. So, like I said, I mean, nobody... Oh, nice! This is the TARDIS. Nice! Nice! Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to do my videos like I want them to. I'm not going to upload like stupid edited thumbnails. And uh, this is going to be a true OG channel that is actually not really true OG. But uh, just like it would have been 10 years ago. That's it. <laughs> Hashtag quality content.